Michigan State. Um, I don't think that was a testament to how good they are. They played kind of bad that game, but I feel like they're a really good team. They have a lot of good players, and it's going to be a good game. Is there danger in that when a team doesn't feel like it played very well the game before, and then you have to play them next? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, they are always trying to prove something, prove that they're better. I mean, they're a ranked team, so they know that um, they're going to have better games than their last game. They played probably pretty bad, but um, but they'll come in our house expecting to get a win, and um, they're going to play good. Hey, uh, do you get into like the um, ranking of backcourts in the Pac-12, and just your thoughts on um, Colorado's back? Backcourt? Yeah, I, I don't follow any of that stuff. I never really did, even as ranking of players coming up. Um, when I was playing AAU basketball, I just kind of just look at it as um, it's a game. No matter who we play, it's the same game. They put their shoes on the same way we do. So just see us on the court. And uh, just your thoughts on their backcourt with Spencer and uh, Keith. Yeah, they're, they're both really talented. Um, they both can score the ball and they distribute the ball pretty well. So um, once again, it's just going to be a good game. I think we have a good backcourt ourselves. Um, and uh, I think we match up with them pretty easy because I know they run a lot of guys who are similar in height with us. So um, I think it'll be a fast pace, pretty good game. When you've been on the kind of the back end of road trips, you know, and, and they're going to be coming in, you know, late game and stuff on a Sunday, what, what, what's been your mindset kind of based on your experience? I mean, is it kind of tough to roll through those things? You have to kind of grind them, grind them out, especially within the overtime game, the game before? Um, yeah, exactly. You know that's going to be tough for you to play on um, on the road. First of all, that's just tough within itself. But um, I feel like with us, we have more of an advantage from on the road because we feel like we have nothing to lose. We don't have a home crowd that's going to back us up. So we um, you know going in that everyone expects us to lose, so it gives us a little bit more edge to come in here or go in there and get a win. So we know that that's probably their mindset coming into our place. So we have to play with a little bit more edge and hopefully get the win. It's obviously a rare treat when you get an off day, you know, during the conference schedule. What would what, yeah. you get a chance to do? I, I laid in bed. I mean, after <laughs> I went to class, of course, I went to class and I had to leave my tutors better than that. I just stayed at home. I watched a couple of games and pretty much just laid down for that. Did you watch the, um, or did you go over it like, like any of the highlights from the past game and particularly just with, the, with you, just ever think about just what happened late in the game for you? Uh, 12 points in the, in, the, in the last nine minutes. Just what happened there? Um, in the last game, I just once again, uh, a lot of the coaches were just talking about being more aggressive. You know, they were they were trying to do everything they could to stop CJ from getting the ball. So I felt like if they were going to stop him, then I should do something to help him out and just help the team out. And um, I was lucky to be able to knock down a couple shots for us. And like, just, just, just how comfortable are you with that? It seems like it's that mid range pick and roll that you come off that screen and at least this last game you really just look for your shot. Yeah definitely. Um I feel a little comfortable with shooting around the range shots. Um, a lot of my workouts is all me shooting a lot of those shots um, in practice we take a lot of those shots. Um let's see what our coaches do a great job of incorporating drills where if those are the shots that we're looking to target um, and I was able to knock them down. Any new thoughts on the chemistry that's coming together between you and CJ and, and Nigel and just just kinda how that's coming together? Um yeah, definitely. I mean, we're all we're all just playing great as a team right now on defense, um, and we're all it starts with our talking, um, and we've been hanging out a lot more outside of the court as far as them um, around the road, just sticking together. Um, we're all in the group chat, so I just think our team chemistry is almost like it was last year. We we're a real tight knit team last year. I'm gonna start a good day this year as well. What, what do you like to do when you guys are off the court? Uh, main thing we just we just talk about each other. Obviously, <laughs> <So>, yeah, <laughs> crack jokes a little bit here and there. I'm um, just talking about experiences that we've had here, so that type of thing. Who's the, funny, who's the funniest guy? The funniest guy, probably you can say if you want. No, it's not me. <laughs> um, it's probably Mike Anderson or Connor, the walk-up. Okay. What, funniest? Yeah. <laughs>